I expect, like me, you have found recent events in America very disturbing. We've seen in the Black Lives Matter movement a real outrage and outpouring of concern and passion for those who have been killed by the police. And we ourselves have been deeply disturbed in our own communities here in Britain. And we may ask what similarities and differences there might be between America and Britain. And the disturbing fact is that there are enough similarities for us to be challenged deeply by events in America. Because in this country, we were those who helped to facilitate the slave trade that meant that black people ended up living, but first of all, as slaves in America. And that happened for century after century. And so it is that we have, as white people in this country, had to face some of the unpleasant truths about the nature of what we've done to others. And I have been myself personally upset by what I've seen. It's brought up some very deep and personal issues about how I feel about African people particularly, having been born and brought up partly in East Africa. And I find one of the most disturbing things, racist attitudes. But actually, I still need to be challenged about that whole attitude myself. And I found the reflections of Willie Jennings, uh, a black American theologian, very helpful and challenging in this regard. He says that we need to do three things as white people, but all of us need to understand these three things. First of all, we need to renounce the kind of supremacy, the superiority of what it means to be white. We need to ask ourselves how we've come to think of white people as being better than others and to realise what an impact that has had on world history and the way that we've colonised other people, not just their places but their cultures and how we've replaced in some people's imaginations a sense of the importance of white people in terms of how they understand themselves. That renouncement must lead to repentance and a deep new self-understanding of our responsibility with others for the change in this world. Secondly, Jennings urges that we learn with humility from other people. And obviously this particularly applies to learning from those of other cultures, what it feels like to be in this world, what it feels like to relate to white people, what it feels like to relate to white Christians, and what that therefore means for how we understand ourselves. We often talk about learning from Christians elsewhere in the world. The kind of humility that we need in order to learn is to realise we need to listen to what they have to say about us. And that might be painful, that might be uncomfortable, but it might be the way that we can go forward in creating the kind of community that Jesus envisaged his kingdom of God, his church to be. And thirdly, that leads on to Jennings's point about us needing to desire to be with others in a new and intimate way. Desiring to be with those who are different from us, desiring to learn from those who have another perspective altogether, and desiring that so much that we realise that it's only in that way that we will fully come to understand who Jesus really is because he is the Lord of all peoples. He is the Lord of all those with whom we have first um, sometimes put down, but he is the one who has raised those up and has made them to be the people that we need to learn with what it means to understand him as Lord of all. So in this diocese, there are many things that we need to learn, but we have the gift of links across the world and I'm hoping that as our companion links grow deeper, we may come to understand more of Jesus, more about other people's faith, that we may repent of some of the things that we've done, and that we may form deep bonds in our Lord and Saviour.